So now this is the Docker file which I have created. It is it will be taking a base image called as Ubuntu. The maintainer name is my name, and I have given a email ID. So this is just for an auditing purpose. So when you create an image, uh, it will be displaying your name and your email ID. Run and get update and the command echo hello world. So run will just run at the time of image creation and command will run at the time of container creation. I mean after the image creation, command will run. So that is the main difference between run and command. So whatever you specify after run, that will be executing at the time of image creation itself. Now the question is how do we run a Docker file? How do we build a Docker file? The command is docker build dot dot is i'm giving dot because i'm in the same directory where i have my docker file let's say if you're in some other directory then you have to give the path but before that i want to give a tag or a name to my image so i'll give a, a tag hyphen t my new image is the name of my image now enter so you can see here <coughs> sorry <coughs> sorry so you can see here that the first step was is taking a base image ubuntu updating the maintainer name and then running and get update and then the fourth step so now if you go and check inside your docker images You see a list that even my new image got added with the latest tag by the unique Im image ID has created 28 seconds ago. But now I want to create a container out of it. So to create a container, what I'm going to do is docker run hyphen it my new image hello world so you can give your container name or container id anything is fine so what i explained is whatever you write after command that will be executing at the time of creation of your containers so since i have added hello world as my command i can get it in my container this is my new image container with the command of hello world so this is how you create an image and this is all about docker file. Now I'll explain about uh, docker compose. So there is something called as docker compose. Why do we use docker compose? Docker compose is basically used for defining and running multi container uh, or multi docker applications. It uses a YAML file to configure application service and we write, we give the name as docker compose on YAML. And uh, the beauty of docker compose is by using one single command, we can stop all the services and we can start all the services. We can start the service with docker compose up command and we can stop all the service with docker compose down command. And uh, it even helps you to scale up any selected services whenever it's required. So now, uh, why Docker Compose is used? Because there is something called as microservices. Microservices are nothing but dividing a very big service into smaller chunks. So let us take an example of this online shopping service. So this will be having a account department, a product catalog, a card server, an order server. So obviously these individual module will be having its own databases with its own dependencies, libraries and all. So all these are microservices. So if anything happens with one of the database, it should not affect the other database or other module. Why? Because all these are having its own individual databases, libraries and all. Okay. Now I'll show you how do we uh, install Docker Compose on our machine. 
so first of all make sure that you are not a root user you should be a ec2 user or a normal user let me just clean my screen so in windows you install you can install docker compose by going to this link in github https github.com docker compose releases you can come down and you get this command first of all just let me copy this command and paste it in my notepad copy this command and paste it in the console now what it is doing it is installing my docker compose now i'll give uh, execute permission to docker compose file okay so now we are going to write a yml script a docker compose file so normally what i'll do is i'll create a directory called as docker compose file i will go inside the directory and create a before before that let us just check whether my docker compose is installed or not yeah it's installed we can even check the version number so my docker compose is installed now i'm inside my docker compose file i will create a docker compose file with the name docker hyphen compose dot yml extension so now let me go to my docker hub and i'll start with services here and then let me go and um, take some web services so web i want to take up a image called as let's say i want to take up nginx Since this is a YML format script, so we have to take care of the indentation. Now I want a database to be attached. With my Nginx service. So for that, I will take up a database image. Let's say I will be taking up a uh, Let's say I'll be taking up a database called as Redis. Redis. So what I'm going to do.